Alright guys, so welcome back to another video and in this video we are going to create crude application using React hooks and we are going to using context API to working with the state. Alright, so by the way this is the final project and in here we have add user. If I click add user, it should be go to slash dot add. So we are going to using React router DOM. To create this route and if I add a user say user 1 for example if I hit enter we have user 1 in here and I add another user say user 2 and we have a user 2 and of course we can add it for any user you click it so I want to edit the user 2 edit that out and you can do that say updated so if i edit name it should be updated in here all right so of course i can do it like that okay so so pretty simple but we are gonna focus on con uh, react's context api in this video so without any further ado let's create a folder called crude react context api or any name folder you want and you can do npx and create react app and dot meaning you generate create react app in this folder just make sure you install node.js in your system so i have already doing this so uh, let's running the react application by typing npm start and it should be opening localhost in port 3000 all right so let's make that bigger and we are going to remove couple file in here i want to make that bigger here it is and we are going to remove the logo.svg we don't need that we are going to remove the index.css and let's go to index.js and we are going to remove the index.css right here and save and close the file and let's uh, save we're going to remove the styling in app.css and go to app.js in here what we are going to do is remove the header everything inside a header and to say h1 and say app we are going to remove the logo and the app.css right here okay save now it should be have app in the browser um oh i forget to stopping the final project like that and close that out we are going to running again so so let's say npm start and all right so you are going to install a couple package in here the first is we are going to install of course a react router dom so let's do npm install react this router this dom and we are going to install a bootstrap because we are going to styling the ui using bootstrap so let's do in the terminal uh, say bootstrap and react strap and we are going to install uuid which is if you go to the final project in here if i add a user and for example user one if i edit the user one it should be go to edit and slash the id we generate uuid in here by the way okay so uh, we are going to install uuid and yeah i think that's it enter the route 
all right so finally we're done and let's go to we're going to uh, create a couple components so inside the source folder in here let's create a folder called components and inside in here we are going to create uh, c uh, home.js and add what is that at user.js and edit user.js okay so by the way i'm using es7 extension let's see in here es7 react redux script ql and you can install that if you want by the way by the way we can do rfc and if i hit enter and we have a functional functional best component so this is really helpful for react developer so create h1 in here and just say home save and let's go to add user and do the same thing and enter and it should be add user and go to edit user and do that it should be h1 edit user okay so now save and close the three component in here and in app.js we need to import uh, home from uh, dot slash component slash home right and just copy and paste two more time it should be add user and under in here it should be edit user and the name folder say at uh, i forget the name i'm using yeah cool uppercase so let's see add user to edit user okay so let's bring in the three component inside the inside in here let's do home let's do add user and edit user should be lowercase like that all right so save and now i hope this three components showing in the browser uh, let's close the terminal in here all right so here we go here it is okay so we need to import the uh, uh, browser router so let's do import let's see from react router dom and we are going to import is uh, browser router and we are going to give a, a name in here just say routers make that simple and we are going to install we're going to import switch uh, route and yeah i think that's it so if you want to using browser router you need to wrap everything inside a router so let's do in here say router and we need to bring in everything inside the router like that and yeah we need to wrap everything inside a switch uh, see switch like so if you have a navigation you should put in here okay not inside a switch tag so you should put in here because it's still showing up to for for every 
a row do you have for example i just want to say h1 and say enough so i just want to show you um react order dom oh, what happening uh, let's see in the package.json what i'm wrong in here react router tom we don't have yet react router tom what the problem maybe i wrong typing in the name or something just to install that again so npm install react router tom all right it is done and let's close the terminal and just let's try to save and i hope that work let's reload that all right uh, it's working but we need to uh using a road in here to say root and say path equals to uh for slash meaning the home page we need to say component say component set that equals to home so just cut and put inside in here all right so just want to copy and paste and i want to just delete that out and it should be at user no should pick up at user like that and it should be edit user and for the path if i access slash add i want to go to add user and if i access edit slash id i want to access the edit user so if i save now uh, let's see in the browser in here now is still showing up because nav's outside switch all right nav and home all right if everything's work so let's go to slash at and nav is still showing up but now this is home that's the problem because it's a uh, road is looking for slash meaning in here we have slash so uh, i mean <laughs> meaning in here we have slash that's why home still coming up because this is start from uh, slash you can put this two road in here upside the home and everything is work so if you go to add now it should be at user here it is and if you go to edit slash maybe id1 you should go to edit user if you go to home page you should go to the home but the easy way to fix this problem is just you can just put keyword exact in here and everything is work just fine all right so uh, i think we want to remove the nav we don't need that just just for example um yeah we, we need to import the uh, bootstrap i think say import uh, bootstrap slash dist slash css slash bootstrap dot say dot min dot css let's save that and if the phone is changing the import right here is successfully uh, let's see all right so here we go it's meaning we can we have already imported bootstrap in our app so we need to give a styling in here just inline styling i want to remove the app class in here just give a style set it equals to uh, i just want to make uh, create a maximal width in here and put everything in the center just give a 3d ram and i want to say margin uh, top and bottom to for RAM and left and right to auto to make that center. So save and should be in center, I think. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So for the first, I want to just styling the add component, which is in here. 
all right so let's go to add user component which is in here we need to import a couple react strap component in here and say import let's do import it should be from react strap and what we are going to import in here is uh, by the way form in the input field so you can do form and say form group and say label and input and the button bottom button 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 bottom but but i don't know how to say that okay so look stop it let's go to the div right here we need to remove that and change that to form and let's see in here just just put a, just uh, grab everything inside of from group like so and just give a label and just should be name it's uppercase n oh name and this input in here and outside the form group we are going to bring in the button like that and it should be a submit and give a type submit in here oh, type equals to submit and for the input i want to give a type to text and give a placeholder so that equals to enter name and for the form uh, we are gonna work that later on but yeah i think that's it let's try to save and see what we have in the browser all right so here we go but i want to add another button here which is cancel so i want to using a link in here so we need to import that from react router dom so in here we need to import a link from react router dom say dom and just say just say cancel i think in here i'll say cancel and give a uh, just styling it should be good to slash meaning the home page and give a class name so that it equals to btn and btn there's uh, just a danger and we are going to say margin left too because we want to give a space between this submit button so let's try to save that and let's see here we go we have a submit and we have cancel if i hit cancel it should be back to the home page all right pretty cool guy yeah so now let's close the add user and i want to no i think we don't need to close that because we need to copy uh the code right here because we are we are going to styling the edit uh, user is uh, look similar so go to edit slash for example one and we need to just copy the entire in here and we are going to paste in here um come on man just copy that and just paste in here and i want to copy the form and should be in here try to save and now we have the form edit
but now let's uh, let's change the name not submit I think it should be uh, just say edit name like so and if I hit cancel it should be back to the home page all right cool so let's close the add user and edit user we need to create another component inside uh, components folder in here we need to create a heading .js and we need to create user list user list.js all right so let's do the same thing in here which is rfc and come on man what are you waiting for thank you and in here just say h1 and say heading save and for the user list we can do same thing and just say in here user list okay save and now we we want to bring in the two these two component to a home.js right here okay we need to import that say import uh, heading should be from dot slash heading because we are in the same folder and it should be user list wait user list and all right now we are going to bring in this inside in here let's do heading and user list now if i go to something wrong in here heading should be uppercase okay so save now if i go to the home page we have the heading and the user list i want to wrap everything in react uh, fragment so the shortcut is just something like this of course you can do react.fragment or something like that so save and now it's working okay so let's go to the heading we are going to style that a little bit we need to import uh link i think because we are going to create a button and the button should be uh let's see in here add user okay we need to import link for react router dom link from react dash router dash dom and we need to import say import import should be from react strap and we are going to import is uh, enough bar enough enough item enough bar brand and last it should be a container we are going to wrap everything inside in container that's why we have space in here okay so let's remove the div in here we don't need that it should be enough bar with capital capital end and let's give uh, wait, where it is like that let's give a color to dark and say dark in here let's put everything in container and say enough bar branch you can do ref in here if somebody clicked the branch it should be go to the slash which is the home page 
and to say my team my team and create enough uh, should be should be uppercase enough like that inside in here let's give enough item let's bring the enough item it should be capital N oh, oh come on man and inside in here let's do a link it should be good to uh, slash add and the text let's say add the user and just give a styling letter quick in here say class name uh, set equals to btn and btn dash primary primary okay cool save and let's see in the react app we have uh, add user okay pretty cool if we if we click that it should be good to uh, slash add and we can cancel to back the home page all right so pretty cool let's go to user list in here we are going to style that but i want to close the heading.js in here we need to import uh, link from react router dom and we need to import from react strap okay what we are going to import is uh, list group list group item list group item and the button let's remove the div in here and we are going to do is list group list group and inside a list group we have a list group item a list group item like that and this should be the item so let's just say user one for now and in here we have a div with the class name margin left auto to put that to push to the right side which is in here we are going to uh, create a two button edit and delete edit should be good to slash edit slash any id we click on that and delete should be just delete that okay so in here let's do link because we are going to go to slash edit and should be two equals to uh, just to edit slash one for example and the text it should be edit and in here let's bring in the button and should be delete and let's give a styling which is the color and just give a danger like that and save let's try to see um what happened in here just uh, let's see what happened um we need to wrap everything inside of this group so we need to put this inside a list group item i think in here and we need to just cut the user want and i need to create uh just say strong tag in here or paragraph or anything you want but i just want to give a strong and put the user one in there so try to save that and let's see uh, okay we need to give a display flags i think in here so just give a class name set equals to display flex and save all right so let's styling the edit right here and give a class name i think in here we are going to give a class name set equals to 
uh, btn btn dash warning and just give a margin right one okay save and here we go we have edit and delete if i click edit it should be go to edit slash one which is right here okay so i think we're done with the styling uh just try to copy this alt shift and row down we have now we have a two user let's try to save that and now we have two right here okay pretty cool oh yeah we have space i think in here so we can add space in where is that in here can to class name uh, set equals to margin top four save and now we have a space between the heading the heading and the list and the user list like that okay so i think we're done with the styling and i want to create part two for this uh, video so just make sure you follow along in this playlist and yeah i'm going to see you in the next video bye